Okay guys, so this is gonna be my short little walk around of the 2023 GMC AT4 uh, turbo diesel Duramax. Um, I picked up this truck about a month ago. Absolutely love it. The front grille, they've, uh, they've changed this from previous years. It definitely has a more aggressive stance to it now. Um, I love, absolutely love the LED cat eyes. I think those just look very aggressive, very sharp, very sleek, and more importantly, very professional. Um, the truck does come sitting a little bit higher than most standard trucks would. It has a more off-road tire. Um, I do find the aggressive tires to be more, I guess, appealing to a guy like me who's out in kind of the worst conditions. Um, I did get the truck wrapped. It is not black. It is almost like metallic gray. Um, I really like the color of it. I find it very appealing when it is uh, not so dirty. I do need to clean the truck. It definitely sparkles. Um, overall, though, the truck is very clean. Um, we got it wrapped for the company. The rear comes with a spray and bed liner. Big fan of that. Um, I do use it as a truck, so it definitely is dirty. Um, but it is a sweet truck. I definitely am a big fan of the truck. Um, back here, we have our tailgate. The dual exhausts, I think those are very aggressive. I love it. You have the switch tailgate. Um, so the top actually will fold down, which I like that as a feature. Um, and then you can also, this is the step, so when you push in on the top, you can lift that up and you can turn it into a step to get in, or a desk to do some writing. I do find quoting here is quite nice when I go out quoting. Um, put that back up, and then with a tap of a button, you can put the whole tailgate down and it doesn't, uh, doesn't slam like all the old trucks did. My old F-150, it would just, it would drop down. Um, overall, very nice truck. Um, what I find the best about this truck, however, is the uh, interior. So shout out to Stefano from Northern Snow. Uh, that's one of his rigs there. Me and him are uh, pretty good friends. He does a similar business than I do, and he let me use his picture because I don't have any good pictures. Um, so in the rear of the AT4, um, now I will say this truck is dirty. Keep in mind, I am not the guy that's not going to use a truck. I definitely use it for work. Um, but it has this very nice leather interior. Um, I'm a big fan of this pattern that they put into the leather. Um, in the back, you're going to have everything you need from a, you know, straight, I call them Mac chargers. I'm not sure. USB Type-C, I think, is what the technical term is, and a USB port built right into the truck, as well as heated back seats, which all my passengers like to enjoy, um, which are mostly just the guys when we're out on dispatch. Um, so we have our company stuff over there. Um, just imagine this clean, if the floor was clean. It's a very sharp truck. Um, I'll show you guys the front seat there. So yes, um, similar, same story, very dirty. Um, but yes, so I'm just gonna hop in here. I'll we'll go over a couple things about the inside of this truck. Um, so, very comfortable. Um, not sure how to explain it. Uh, it is very dirty at, the, at this current moment in time, um, but it is very comfortable. So you're going to have everything you need really on the steering wheel, uh, the cruise control, similar to other vehicles now. It automatically adjusts its speed um, for oncoming traffic. Uh, of course, it's got heated seats, uh, cooled seats. You can control what side of the backrest it's going to go on. It has a push button start, lane correction, uh, beeping, and it will alert you and vibrate the steering wheel when you get close to something. Auto start and auto stop, I I always turn that off. You can put the tailgate down, you get your hazard lights, um, you've got traction control, and then you have, um, I'm not quite sure what that button is actually, and then you also have the ability to roll down all four windows at once. Um, everything to do with heat control is gonna be here. Um, I tend to just keep it on sync, so both uh, dials are gonna adjust at similar times. Um, and then a very large display. Um, I'm a big fan of this display, actually, I love it. Um, I tend to be always on the map feature. Um, so as you guys can see here, it uh, it is quite the system. It works quite well. It's basically just a tablet at this point. I believe they partnered with Google. Um, and these are basically just laptops inside your truck. Um, so I'm able to do everything I need to do when I'm out on dispatch on that monitor there. Um, as well as over here, I mean, the display is, uh, it's got a lot of different options, a lot of different things. Um, that's a good thing to show you guys there too. Um, only got about 3,600 kilometers on the truck, averaging about 14.7 per 100 kilometers. Now, this is a diesel truck, so it is pretty good on fuel. It's a lot better on the highway, and when it's towing, um, I really got to clean this thing up. But again, it's been a, it's been, it's being used as a truck right now. In the summer, it might be clean, but right now, it's, it's definitely being put to work. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got ample storage over here, um, a lot of different 
options up here. You're gonna have your sunroof. Um, I was lucky enough to get the truck that had all the features. Most trucks these days are missing chips or or missing certain things is, is gonna lower your package price. I was, I guess, not lucky because they made more money off me, but I was lucky in the sense that my truck was sitting on the lot with every, every available option. My guy gave me a call and I uh, signed the papers that morning and left with it by 11. Um, they also did adjust this. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm a big fan of a column shifter. Um, they do have this fancy thing. You basically just push that in, um, put your foot on the brake, and then two times forward, um, you're in reverse, and one time back, you're in uh, drive, and then you can also go back again to go to low, um, and then you just tap park to go to park. Um, the reverse camera is definitely elaborate. Um, so you're gonna have an aerial view and then the standard back view, and they're very high quality. It's, uh, it's nothing like a normal backup camera, which are kind of blurry. Um, I swear they're, they're the same quality as what I'm recording on my phone right now. It just might be hard to tell. Um, but overall, I mean, this truck has served me well, um, and I'm a big fan of it. So if you're in the market for a 2023 uh, GMC AT4 Duramax, then by all means, I highly recommend it. They're beautiful trucks with lots of power. Um, and I mean, 10 out of 10 from this guy. Um, it definitely helps around. Um, you know, it's it, it's more than capable of towing my little tractors. The big ones, not so much. I have towed that uh, that M5, and it is higher than the weight limit. But you know, the, these trucks, these little these little Duramaxes, are capable of more than than more than what people think they are. Um, so yeah, so this is my uh, 2023 AT4, guys. If you have any other questions, let me know, and I will uh, little little deter from the tractor footage. But I just thought I'd give you guys a quick little walk around. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.